Hey everybody, Venomeyer's back here again. We're going to do another cards draft here, um, just because I think it's the best way to help grow your collection, because you can pick up packs for, you know, just playing well, which leads to resources, which leads to more cards. So you can play uh, Constructed if that's what you want to do, or, like me, you just play, and if you can play well, then you can pick up enough gold by playing your um, goals for the day. So we're probably, if we have the option, we'd like to go with Britain as our major power. And then if we win a couple games, then we get, you know, 11 gold from this, plus the gold we win for our first win of the day. And we essentially pay for our draft. So that's kind of my strategy on expanding your collection for what it's worth. All right. So we're going to take Team Britain to uh, keep up keep up what we want to do. All right, and we have an interesting first pick here. Three 25-pounders can be a game plan all by themselves. Precision bombings early could be really good if you build around them. But the Skua, I think, is our pick here. Uh, its deployment ability can help kill units. It gives you some tempo. It turns on later precision bombings that we could see. These 25, I mean, it's like a flying 25 pounder. So I'm gonna take the skuas. We'll start there. Okay. Welsh guards isn't bad. Hurricanes is, you can kind of think of these as like a five credit, three damage to something order or national fire service. I think this is more a constructed card. I don't really like National Fire Service. Uh, I'm going to well, go Welsh Guards here because it doesn't commit us as heavily as four cards for Hurricanes do. Plus, they can guard our school. So get out, get in here, Welsh Guards. Okay. Albacore is like the mini school. Hudson, I've actually, when I have played it, I've been relatively impressed with it that. If you can get it going and it starts pinning stuff, it can really mess up an opponent. Um, or we have this 111th Indian Brigade. So when you gain defense, gain defense against one defense, it has fury. Mm. Um, I think I'm in the. I think I'm in the market for an Albacore here. If a Hudson, if we had to play a Hudson, we'd be okay with it. But the Albacore, I think, is just it. You know, it has the same ability as the Skua. All right, so our ally, hmm. Both Japan and the Soviet Union have some good guard units, which is kind of what our deck would really like here to guard our bombers with. The Americans are more of a frontline focused one. I tend to like them more with like the Germans or the Italians or something quick, maybe some Fury units that we don't really have. Um, I'm going to go Team Soviet Union here. I just got a good feeling. All right, 820. We don't really get it to deployment ability. Uh, the 10th Guards unit, which Guards Regiment, which doesn't have Guard, flavor fail. So we're going to take this anti-air gun. Okay. Close air support's interesting because we kind of have a little deck going here. But the Crusader can be very good if we focus on British orders. I mean, it's a fine unit by itself, but if we can just score some good British orders, and we're early in the draft, so we can kind of keep that in mind, I'm going to take the Crusader. See, that'll kind of be our build-around card here. All right. 26 Engineer Regiment's fine. Uh, Timanskaya is okay. It only repairs ground units. But the good old 5th Brigade, good old 5th Brigade, it'll protect our bombers. If we can pick up any artillery, it's good at protecting our artillery. Okay. So, Grounded is a big tempo play. Critical Hit can be very good. Or we have this Precision Bombing that we were talking about before. We already have three bombers. I kind of like being in, like, the six bomber range. And critical hit actually goes with our Skua and our Albacore and that we can like just ping something and then blow it up with a critical hit. Yeah, I like to have a couple more bombers before I pick up precision bombing. I think critical hit's the one I'm going to take here. 
Okay, so we have a Hampton, we have the Royal West Kents, or we have aerial, aerial Reconnaissance. Whenever the enemy deploys a unit, reduce costs of all orders in your hand by one. No thank you. Um, when a friendly guard unit is attacked, it deals damage equal to its defense, or a Blitz Hampton. Well, we already have a couple of guard units. The Soviets do have some good guard units themselves. So I'm going to take these Royal West Kents. Maybe we should have taken the bomber there, but we kind of, it looks like we kind of did the right thing here. I, I like daylight bombing, deal two damage to any target, enemy lose a credit slot, the brigade, no thanks. But I always like the KV-1. It just, you know, it's a big beefy body, heavy armor, guard, so it kind of goes with our guard theme. Um, the Royal West Kents play well with it. So I'm going to take the KV-1. It's harder to replace than the Daylight Bombing is. All right, and now we're really cooking here, because now we have a naval support. Fortifica four fortifications we don't need, National Fire Service we don't need, but a naval support fix right into what we're doing. Plays great with the 5th Brigade, plays great with the KVs. All right, now we get a pair. We have another naval support we can pick up. This aerial reconnaissance, get out of here. Also, naval support plays well with a crusader because now it turns into a, a card draw engine too. Spitfire, Rockstar, can win a game on its own. Forces opponents to put so many credits and resources into get it rid of, getting rid of it. I'd love to have another another naval support, but I can't pass up two Spitfires. They're just too good. Okay. Now we get the 40 mil, which is good at attacking air units. Final push, mm, I'm not in, in love as much. And then we have this engineer regiment, which plays really well with our naval support. Yeah, we'll take an engineer regiment. It also can kind of short circuit a lot of uh, damage based orders that uh, come in against you. All right, grenadier guards, again, great with naval support, great with the Royal West Kents. All right, we're going to take the Grenadier Guards. Perfect. All right, now we get a little card draw, too. And these Convoy HX-175s turn into draw threes when we have our Crusader out. We miss out on a Yak-3 and a Hurricane, so I don't think we're really missing out on much. Now we don't need anything like Lend-Lease, either. We're fine without that. Okay, so we can pick up a Cromwell MK-4. Give it plus two attack when a pinned enemy is destroyed. All right, well, we have this kind of pinned thing going on with our albacores and our skua. The pedal, the PE-2, four power bomber on turn three can be very, very good. And we have lots of guards for it or mud. Enemy ground units can't attack next turn. So a three is six tank. With heavy armor on turn four, what's our curve and looking like here? It looks okay. Um, do we want the pedal? Like it's between the pedal and the Cromwell. I've never really played with the Cromwell all that much, but I think we want the pedal here just in case we see another precision bombing. It doesn't take as much setup as the Cromwell comes out earlier. All right, I'm gonna take the pedal. All right, now we get a close air support. Supply drops are okay. Give a tank or enemy unit plus four defense and guard. Smoke screen is removed. A gladiator. Gladiator's out. The question is, do I want three supply drops or just one close air support? We have a couple of really solid planes for the British already. And this doesn't commit us as much as three supply drops do. Also, supply drop can... Um, be kind of a do-nothing card. And a close air support only costs one. We have to draw when we have our Crusader out. Plus X plus X to a friendly unit. So if we can set it up right, we can give two or three pluses. All right, I'm going to take the close air support, and we're on the lookout for planes. Okay, interesting one here. Scorched Earth, not interested, but a Tempest Mark V with all its stuff. Or there are our precision bombings. How many bombers do we have? We have one, two, three, four. All right. Hmm. The Tempest plays very nicely with our naval support as well. Hmm. I'm going to take the precision bombings, I think. 
We only need, I'd rather only have one, but we have about half the draft left to go, so we can just keep our eyes out for uh, British bombers and we'll be good to go. Okay, some more 5th Brigades or uh, Churchill. 5th um, Brigade, I think, it just really gets the job done for this kind of deck. Gives us early plays. We want more naval supports. We got this guard thing going on with the Royal West Kents. So we'll take these 5th Brigades. Churchill isn't bad there, though. All right, they really want us to have a Cromwell. There's a Black Watch, which is also very good. Or another KV-1. Hmm. Black Watch plays really well, but we kind of have like the baby Black Watch here with these 5th Brigades. Yeah, it makes orders cost more in our opponent's hand, but they're probably not going to have too many orders. I'm going to take another KV. I'm, I've never disappointed when I have the KV in my deck. Okay, so we have AA. We don't want these Humbers. They're out. Humber Mark IIs, they're out. So we have three AA Barrages or two Bombers. Two more bombers is what we really want with our precision bombings. We have all these guard units to protect our stuff. I'd really like some artillery pieces in here, but this this the Strum Strumovic is really like a flying artillery piece. Because it has heavy armor, so it can rumble with a lot of fighters that our opponent might have. Um, target area unit must retreat. Nah, we'd rather just blow stuff up. All right, give me the bombers. So now our precision bombings are looking very nice. Okay, more West Kents, more Tempest Mark Fives, or a hammer. I think we just want the good old-fashioned hammer. One thing we don't have a ton of in this deck is removal. We have these precision bombings, but they're conditional. We have a critical hit, so I think we could use a little more just raw removal power. Okay, more critical hits. Supply drops or Ural factories. Hmm. Um, I don't, I don't, I think we want the critical hits just to give us more removal orders. You know, ping something with our albacores or something like that. We'd love to see a Katie or something like that. Ural factories lets us cash in damaged units for bigger things, but... I don't think we really have to worry about that much. Supply drops could be good as well, but all our stuff has guard for the most part anyway. All our tanks and stuff. most For the most part. All right, I'm going to take these critical hits. All right. So radar alert's okay. Hurricane Mark IIa is okay, but the light, the RAF, F, RAAF Lightning F4 is like a crazy good card in draft. It gives you so much tempo, it gives you a 3-5 fighter, and it's any enemy unit has to retreat. So we'll, we'll, we will take that happily. Okay, a blockade could be good. These SU-152s I've always found be a little underwhelming. But these BL 4.5 medium guns, I think, are the answer here. We would, we, with all of our guards and stuff and our critical hits that really depend on damaged units, um, having something that gives us a pin to start and then we can pop it with a medium gun and hopefully take it down, I think that's the way to go. I think that takes care of our closers, too. Okay, lend lease we don't really need. 40-second rifles can be very good, but these blockades, I think they're the answer. They play well with our critical hits. They play well with Crusader because they can draw us more cards. We already got card draw, so we don't really need Lend-Lease. 40-second rifles could be good, but I just don't think we need it. So I'm going to take these blockades. All right, Hampton, a Red October, or a Burning Sky. I think we'll take the Hampton here. Helps out our precision bombing. Gives us another tough to deal with unit for our opponent to deal with. All right, Fusiliers are just nice and big. Balooks are okay. Humbers are okay. But the Fusiliers are, you know, a 5-6 for four credits is pretty beefy. So, yeah, we'll take some Fusiliers. Okay, and then this is our last pick. Okay. So secret operatives can be like a miserly card. A Manchester 1A 
the add a precision bombing to your hand or the Sterling MK uh, Mark 1 S3 don't think we really want that add a gladi gladiator or whatever and then that gladiator has is dealt to this so it kind of has like a built built-in protection we don't really need the built-in protection we have a ton of bombers for our precision bombing that this is going to give us so yeah let's take this Manchester all right see what we get here we didn't get a ton of we didn't even see a lot of um, Soviet uh, guard units which is a little strange uh, I mean other than these KVs but we're you know pretty British heavy yeah, we're in the long game with this deck so all right see how we do let's see All right, enemy located. That's always good. Up against Jose, Chelsea 1. Okay, they're playing the Americans, so could be a... Uh, I'll throw this KV back. We're actually going to throw critical hit back, too. All right, well, let the uh, brigades roll. Hopefully our opponent's playing a lot of uh, Greyhounds. But we're in this one for the long haul here. All right, nothing from our opponent. So let's just run out a brigade, get the game plan started. Next turn, depending on what our opponent does, we can get the draws going or we can just drop another brigade. Okay, so the 5th Infantry Regiment turns into a 3-4 when it reaches the front line. So we're going to make our opponent work for it a little bit. Move a brigade up. We Man, what was in that pack where we could have got the other naval support? I can't remember back, but maybe we should take in another naval support for this deck. Hard to say. Hard to say. If we get to turn 6 right now, though, without a lot of pressure on us, then I mean, I'm fine just clogging up the front with these brigades and dropping a medium gun later on. Alright, our opponent wants to do similar stuff. Ooh, a crusader. Alright. Okay, well, let's just move this other brigade into the front, drop our crusader in behind. Next turn, draw f three. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. And then every one of our British orders draws a card now on top of it. Yeah, that's that's tasty. I mean, our opponents only got three attack power right now in their support line. All right, they pick up a lightning. All right, we get a pedal. Okay, I think we're gonna guard our crusader, and now let's draw. Grenadier, yeah, and a critical hit, sure. And we got this naval support. So now we're going to see what our opponent does here. And we have the naval support, or we have this uh, medium gun coming later on. So if our opponent leaves our front line alone, I'm tempted to just go with, um, oh, this is a blockade. I keep thinking this naval support because they have similar art. Sorry. Okay, so change of plans. We'll probably see what our opponent does, and we can either critical hit or blockade something this turn here. A Yak-9. Okay. We don't really care about that. And they use their whole turn on it. Hmm. Okay. Um, do we care about anything that our opponent has out there right now? Not particularly, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go medium gun. Um, we could just go medium gun on one of their fighters. Or we could just drop a grenadier guards. I think we'll go grenadier guards to start. Save the medium gun for next turn.
We got these critical hits to do stuff. We can get our medium gun going, and then once it starts popping in the things, then we can critical hit stuff. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we're not really worried about a P-38 by itself. And these guys have done more than enough to give us plenty of time. So, strap in for this one. This is going to be a long one, I think. Alright, so we get a kind of a free point of damage there. Alright, bloody sickle from our opponent. Okay. Alright, so now this blockade kind of... It draws us a card, too, so... Okay. Fusiliers, all right. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm gonna just move this. Um, well, do I want to do that? I don't think I do. Okay, we're gonna medium gun. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's the Yak or the P-38. All right, we're gonna medium gun the Yak. And just pass the turn. I just want to keep our Crusader guarded for now. And then hopefully pick something off with this blockade and draw card. That'd be a nice turn of events for us. I, our opponent's also clogged in their own support line right now. So, like, if they attack with this 5th Infantry, that's fine. Okay, they attack with a, the lightning, that's also fine. I would imagine the infantry moves forward and they make a play in behind it. Okay. Okay, another infantry, another guard behind it. Okay. Alright, well the anti-air gun would be interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's start... I mean, we can get rid of the lightning. Then I think we just get rid of... I kind of want to hold on to these critical hits. Um... Hmm... Um... Okay, I'm just going to get in for 5 damage. And then take this thing out with our Crusader. And then I'm going to do one damage to these guys and draw a card. Pass it back. Yeah, these are going to be complicated games with lots of decisions to make. So, we want to hold on to these critical hits to the last possible moment. Because the Americans have t all kinds of big bombers and crazy stuff that are going to be difficult for us to get toward. Hopefully that blockade hits something big in our opponent's hand. Alright, so they're going after our 5th Brigade, sure. But it took them two attacks, and now we can just crack back and take out whatever and drop another 5th Brigade in, which is pretty gross. Alright, Infantry Regiment, sure. Alright, giving it to that thing, sure. Alright, Howitzer, that's gotta die. I don't know why they didn't try and give this, you know, put the Howitzer down first and then give that, make it into a 2-4, but... That's, that's fine with us. Alright, so let's take out their howitzer. Let's drop another 5th Brigade, question mark? Or do you just want to drop the Fusiliers? Now, let's go 5th Brigade, make our opponent work for it. 
hit these for five, because they're only hitting back for one. And then take out the infantry again with our crusader. It's already drawn us two cards, so it's kind of done its job already. And we just want to, we're just trying to grind our opponent's resources out here. I mean, they have to attack this 5th Brigade twice again to just get through to our Crusader, because it seems like they want to take out our Crusader. I mean, we don't have any British orders in our hand anyway. So, not a big deal there. And we have we still have heavy hitter, heavy hitters left in our deck that can win this. You know, a Spitfire just dominates this battlefield. Our bomb, our Manchester, we haven't even seen any of our precision bombings yet. Naval bombardment. Okay, all right. They wanted to get that Crusader. Well, they got it. I mean, next turn we can just go two Fusiliers. All right, fully repair ground units. Sure. Okay. All right, Albacore. Okay. Well, here I'm just going to go with a medium gun to pin this one. Take out the other infantry. And we can just Albacore it next turn as well. Um, I don't know, I might as well just go with a 5th Brigade. Because now we can just blast this twice with our medium guns. Move uh, both of these guys into the front line. Albacore anything our opponent has in behind it. Again, we have these lank we have these fusiliers just waiting to come down. Okay, barrage. All right, gets one of our artillery pieces. Okay. I mean, now we can just take this out, hit the hit it with the medium gun, hit it with our brigade, or no, not even do that. Hit it with our medium gun, then albacore it. Okay. All right, we get the deployment trigger on that still. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Precision bombing. Yeah, so we can just drop this and precision bomb the tank. That's really mean. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Manchester. Draw the precision bombing. Blap the... Oh, can't be the target of enemy orders. Right, right, right. Okay, that's okay. Because now we can just blap these guys. And we still have all of our... We still have two more of those in our deck, plus this uh, Manchester is guarded by two units. I always forget that this can't be the target of enemy orders. It's a good little tank, especially against discard. I mean, our Manchester just eats it alive, though. And then we have the we have the Albacore critical hit combo. Okay, yeah, we can do everything we want here, too. All right, so we Albacore the... Okay, what does this thing say? Oh, must target... Okay, sorry. I have to target ground units. Okay, fine. No problem. Um, in that case, what, how am I going to do this? All right, we're going to do the Albacore trick on the Jackson. Pin it. Um, move. Um, I gotta take out this Apache too. Plus one uh, attacks friendly. It's got plus one, plus one. All right, we're just gonna take it out. Get rid of that stupid thing. We have more cards than our opponent. It doesn't matter at this point all that much. All right, then we go medium gun on the tank. Then we're going to move the Grenadier Guards up. 
I think we're, we might be overthinking it just a touch at this point. Next turn we can critical hit the Jackson, start working the tank over. Okay, Woken Giant, good play by our opponent. Okay, we can do it, that's fine. I mean, we have this, this KV that we can just drop as well. Then we can just Albacore the Jackson, critical hit it. All right, and we get a Skua, okay. All right, let's uh, hit the M4. Let's also drop the, nah, we don't want to do that, okay. Albacore the Jackson. Blow up the Jackson. And then pin the M4. Just in case they have some kind of blitz shenanigans, we're going to put the, br the brigade up in the front line just to give us some breathing room. Another Apache. Oh, that was the doubled up Apache. Okay. Another Skua. Man, we're being mean to our opponent here. Okay, so we'll field gun and then Skua the Apache to blow it up. Then we will bomb the M4. We survive it, so we might as well just take it out. Then, depending on what our opponent does here, we can just drop this KV down to protect any of our stuff if we need to. Like, just move a bomber into the front line. Okay. Or if we lose a bomber, just drop the KV down. Alright, 40 second rifles, don't care. These guys don't care. Unity is strength, okay. Alright, so we gotta take the artillery out. I mean, this can come into the front line all at once, and we can just blow it up next turn. So, in this case, I'm going to bomb the artillery. I'm going to bomb the guards there, and I'm going to shoot the HQ. Then these guys can move into the front line, and we can just spike them with our bombers. Or we can just poke it with the albacore and take it out with a critical hit. That thing we're not very worried about. More precision bombings, so we're looking good here. I think in this case we're going to go just after the HQ. And we can also take this big boy out. Pass it back. Again, the 40 second rifles, we can just spike them anytime we want, really. Okay, infantry retro. I mean, our opponent's got a game plan here with these 40 second rifles. Okay, so we can do two, four, five, eight. Yeah, we might as well do that. Get rid of these guys. Okay, pass it back to our opponent, and we haven't seen any blitz uh, from our opponent for the most part, so they give it up. Whew, okay, game one. <laughs> it was just game one. Yikes, this is going to be a long draft. Battle on. Yeah, 
And I might even have to play this one over two days. So this is Laproag. Laproag. Um, yeah, let's put these back. This looks fine to me. Got our guard game plan going. Love to see our Crusader early, too. Hopefully our opponent is not too quick out of the gate. Alright, 16th rifles can be trouble. Okay. Hmm. We need a critical hit. Otherwise, these things can take the game over because we're just not big enough to take care of it. We'll see. Alright, anti-tank gun. Hmm. Alright, let's drop our Welsh guards and give... Oh! And give our... Give our anti-air gun an extra defense. Yeah, these things, we gotta find a critical hit to deal with those very quickly. Hopefully our opponent just lets them sit there for a couple more turns. Ooh, they got two of them, huh? Okay, well we can blow up one of them, that's good. Alright, so let's blow up the first one. That's helpful. Alright, we might have to get these Fusiliers going early. We can also start cracking in on this anti-tank gun with our uh, anti-air gun. I think we might just have to get the Fusiliers going to force our opponent to move. Okay, fine. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we get a KV. All right, we gotta get the Fusiliers out there just to uh, rumble with the 16th rifles next turn. So hopefully our opponent doesn't have a hammer here, because that would stink. Supply shipment. Okay, also bad. Okay, got some damage in though. Hmm. All right, they're working over our Welsh guards. Okay. And a bloody sickle. Great. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's go with our. Fifth Brigade number one. Drop the Engineer Regiment, too. Just make this 5th Brigade a little bigger. Uh, I guess it doesn't take care of the rifles, but on the crackback we can take the rifles down. Alright, that's fine. Because we'll happily trade... Oh, because this thing repairs, doesn't it? Yikes! Oof. Yuck. Okay, critical hit. Need the critical hit. Oh, and a Katie. Okay. Critical hit. And critical hit. Okay, we can dig for it a little bit. Alright, let's convoy. Okay. Neither of those are very helpful. Okay, we can take out Katie. We can drop another 5th Brigade to stall. Alright, need the critical hit. Or precision bombing at this point. Precision bombing or critical hit. Come on, Doctor. Alright. Precision bombing or critical hit. Come on, Doctor. Alright. 
Precision bombing or critical hit? Uh, neither. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, let's slow down. Well, I guess we can take out the anti-tank gun. Is the, bo the bomber's more important? Yeah, okay, take out the anti-tank gun. And force our opponent. I mean, if our opponent wants to take out the anti-tank gun, they have to attack it with the 16th. Ugh. Okay, so we got like one more draw at it. Ugh. Precision bombing or critical hit. So we have what? Two precision bombings, three critical hits, so we're a one out of five chance to pick it. Or I guess we have an albacore. We have some stuff that can slow it down still. Okay, they still get our bomber. That stinks. Alright, come on, Doctor. Because our KV can handle these two. Stupid close air support. Why aren't you a critical hit? Alright, another anti tank gun. Alright, and hey, there it is. Oh, yeah. Just like, just how we drew it up. Get rid of those guys. Alright, we're going to take a little bit of a whack next turn, but... I don't. Th we're not going to run the pedal out there just to get it wiped out, so... Alright, so now we finally got rid of those stupid rifles. So now, hopefully we can... We don't get run over by big tanks at this point. I mean, T-34s could be in our future, and that would be really bad. Right, supply shipment. Okay, not good, but not the end of the world. Okay, um... Well, here we gotta go KV. Let's see, can they take out our KV-4? I don't know. This thing does what? Double damage to tanks? So it's, this it does two, four, eight. Yeah, they can take out our KV. So yeah, we're 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 stuck here. It took us so fun, so long to take out that stupid 16th rifles that it really messed up our game plan. All right. Well. Now we can blow up the... Well, I mean, next turn we can pin this thing with our medium gun and blow up the... Anti okay, or just blow that up. Okay, don't care about that. Alright, precision bombing. Okay, that's great. So, let's see, how do we do this? We can go blow up the Jackson. Let's blow up the... I don't think we even do that just yet. Well, we should do it while we have this turned on, just in case they have something that can take out our bomber. So, take that out. And then, next turn, we can drop our medium gun on something important. Alright, so we'd love to see another... Oh, that stinks. We'd love to see another KV off the top. Shoot. Alright, well, it's a good thing we used our bomber while we had our, our bombing thing. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, another critical hit. Oh, no, now it's too late, though. Okay, well, we have to pin that... Let's get our West Kents out here. This close air support's been a real drag in our hand. 
Do we have anything that can crack back and kill this? Oh man, that's so helpful. Because now we can take out the field gun, critical hit this. Wow, that was great. Our opponent really should have taken out our artillery. Another Jackson, though. Jeez Louise. Okay, KV off the top. Precision bombing. Okay, could have used you a while ago there, pal. Uh, okay. Um, well, we got to take out the artillery. That's way more dangerous. Alright, we just got to pass a turn here. So we take it 11, 12 to our HQ, though. Eh, well, maybe we should have taken this thing out. Okay, our opponent keeps hooking us up by not taking out our stuff. So, or not going after our HQ. So if we can top deck an Albacore, a Skua, KV, all right. Well, we're... Eh, it's not looking good. We put up the good fight here. That, ooh, that's, that is Blitz. So, seven. So, seven to kill this. And then four to kill... Probably the fighter? Because we have other things that can deal with uh, SU-152. Or we can go Hampton, make it a four power thing. Oh, we can't bomb the stupid SU. Okay, so we gotta go Hampton. We can go critical hit and then attack something else. So let's go... Take out the Jackson. Take out the fighter. Alright, so we lose the the bomber on the crackback. But if we can just dig like we're like we're just like barely hanging on here. Well, I guess they can just come in for no, it didn't matter, did it? But yeah, the tank comes up, and if our opponent had kept attacking us, though, attacking our units, but we just couldn't, just couldn't dig out of that hole. That stupid, that stupid um, 16th rifles. We just couldn't find a precision bombing or a critical hit to take it out. Even a sudden striker. If well, we don't have any German stuff, but it. Even something to just put it back in our opponent's hand. I heart anime. Good for you. All right, a couple of skuas and a grenadier guards. Um, we'll hold on to one skua. Okay. All right, we'll see. We'll see how we do here. German players can be very aggressive. All right, I'm just gonna pass the turn. So hopefully we don't fall behind here. We do have the key to getting us back in the game. But, I mean, it looks like our opponent just activated a um, careless talk, so even our, our fifth brigade can chew that up. Gets a card out of our opponent's hand, and we still have the uh, fifth brigade going. We can even give him an engineer's help in a little bit. All right, Expeditionary Corps. Alright, there's the hammer. Where have you been? Um, Alright, we don't really... Um, yeah, let's just draw... Well, we don't have any British orders just yet. Yeah, let's just get, get the Crusader out there. We top deck any of our um, British orders for love and life, and then we can also, hopefully, we can just avoid a turn of losing our Crusader and give it an Engineer's boost.
maybe the right play there was to play the engineers. All right, what is this thing? Mobilize when it does, has guard when it doesn't have mobilize. Okay. Okay. Um, I think here we're just going to go with... I mean, we can just let this thing grow for a little bit and then just hammer it. At this point, I'm just going to go... Albacore on the Expeditionary Corps. We could just take it out. I, I'm just going to get this resistance out of our hand. Oh, we lost the Spitfire. All right, well, we weren't we weren't really on time to play that anyway. Okay, and if this moves, we can hammer it. Stuka. Do we care about a Stuka? Hmm. Okay. Here we're going to... Okay, we only have five credits. And we don't want to discard. So we're... Oh, that's a tank, dummy. Um... So we go one, two, then run up here and take out the Stuka. But then we lose our Crusader. We don't like that. Okay, so instead, I think all we do is we go... Skua. And then bomb the Stuka. We're going to lose probably the Skua, but... It's alright. It saves this, this brigade here to hopefully help us draw a card in a little bit. Next turn we have to hammer. So, we'll see. We'd love to see a precision bombing or a critical hit off the top, as we've been saying since this draft began. We'll see what our opponent's got, though. Yeah, we'll just hammer this thing and... Alright, for five credits, what could our opponent be playing? They're playing French and Germans. So... Panzers... Plenty... French tanks don't really do all that much. Except for that one special French tank that has mobile eyes. Okay, hopefully our opponent does make a five credit play. Oh, they take out the Albacore. Interesting. Interesting choice. And they don't do anything else. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just bomb the Expeditionary Corps. And hammer the... Those guys. And we're going to move the brigade into the front line. You know, we got Spitfire back up on the way. If we draw any of our British orders, we're loving life. Alright, there's the Panzer. Yeah, that's all our opponent had. Interesting they didn't play that last turn. Um, okay, here we're gonna, we finally get our engineers going. Do we want to do that? Or do we just want to slam a Spitfire? I think we just slam the Spitfire. And get in, and plink in at our opponent's HQ for one. I mean, this brigade's going down, but... Now we have a 6-6 fighter on the battlefield. We can drop a 5th brigade between these two, depending on what happens. And we have Fusiliers here too to give us a little... Not as fast, but same size body. One thing the Germans do have a lot of is tempo though. So if like they play a Hummel or something here, that could be a real pain put our Spitfire back in our hand. 
or a Panzer IV. Looks like they're trying to figure out how to deal with our Spitfire. I mean, I would just tempo away the Spitfire for the time being, but we'll see what our opponent's got. Yeah, there's the Hummel. All right, so, so the opponent does have the Hummel, huh? Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Well, we might just have to do this a little bit the old-fashioned way here. Bomb the Hummel. We gotta use our Crusader offensively. Let's drop a Fusiliers in, just to give us a big body, too. We're going to lose our Crusader. Unless our opponent has a, just a massive play coming here, a Tiger. Annihilation. Okay. All right, we lose the anti-air gun. But they can't attack with their Panzer at this point. So that's good. And soften up that panzer a little bit, and if we draw any of our British orders, we're really happy. Okay, pedal. Okay, um... Hmm. Okay, I think we go... I think we go... Fusiliers... 5th Brigade. We'll save the engineers for next turn. Let's soften up this uh, Panzer as best we can and get in for two more points of damage. So we took a tempo hit not having our Spitfire out there. But luckily it wasn't discarded. We got lucky with that Annihilation play. So now, if the Panzer does attack, we can kill it with the Skua. This Crusader hasn't drawn us any cards, but it has given us at least a card's worth of value. By just sitting here in the front line and soaking up some damage for us. Junkers. Down goes Crusader. Okay. Alright, even better. Um, Alright, well, I think we just slam the Spitfire here again. Take out the Panzer. I don't really want to just ram my Fusiliers into an attack. Because the Junkers can then just take out our Fusiliers, and we don't want that. Our Spitfire can rumble with the Junkers pretty effectively. I mean, they might have tempo again here. Yep, Panzer IV. Okay. Alright, so they go after the Brigade, huh? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. This card is brutal. All right, um, hmm. We can't really use it at the moment, though. But instead, we can go... Skua on... the Junkers. Fusiliers to the front line. Slam our Spitfire one more time. All right, so the Fusiliers can roll with the Panzer, or take out the Panzer. Next turn, we can Manchester and blow something up. All right, Neville Warfer. All right, still a trade, though. And now we can bomb the Neville Werfer. No more Panzers. No more, well, Hummel doesn't do it. All right, Hotchkiss. And these stupid things. Okay. Alright. So. Oh, nice. 
All right, let's take out the junkers. Take out the Nebelwerfer. Take out... Actually, just take Mobilize off of these guys. And now we can drop an Engineer Regiment to make all our guys survive a Hotchkiss attack. All right, now we can get these engineers in the front. All right, Panzer, sure. So we lose a Skua, probably. All right, Iron from the north, okay. So they still got 12 credits. All right, Tiger. So we can Manchester that bad boy down. We'd love to see another precision bombing off the, off the top here. That'd be, that'd be perfectly good. Grenadier guards, also good. Okay, we can't do everything we want to do, but we can do most of it. Okay, because this is going to take 11 credits. So we can, then we can hit something. All right, so we're going to lose another Skua. Okay, everybody has to make decisions in life. Take out the Tiger King. Take out the guard unit. Alright, pass it back. If we lose a Skua, or even if we lose this Manchester, then we still have a Skua. Fine. We still got a Spitfire going. Grenadier guards are on their way. Eagle's Claws. Alright. Now they can take out both of the bombers. Okay. Good play on our opponent there. We do have the pedal waiting, though. Alright. French artillery reinforcements. Okay, so they do that just to cycle it. Okay. Critical hit. Alright, let's go Grenadier Guards. Take out the artillery, just so it can't get going. And let's drop this pedal in here. Alright. So the Grenadier Guards can hold everybody back. The pedal can start picking stuff off. Spitfire is going to kind of hopefully dominate the battlefield here for us for a little bit. Critical hit. Oh, Leopold. Oh, that just sucks. We have no way to ping that and then take it out, do we? Well, <clears throat> Leopold's one of the most broken cards in draft to play against. I mean, it, the card's just broken to play against in draft. Absolutely broken. Um, I mean, there's no way we can come back. It's There's no way we can come back against that. I mean, it's not even worth playing the rest of the game. It's a really tilting card to play against. Um, Alright, and we have to play the pedal. The pedal gets blown up. Like, all my bombers get blown up by it. Like, the only way to get in on that thing is if we, we have to peel a block, or the one or two blockades we have in the entire deck. They have this thing. I mean, this thing's fine. I don't mind playing against this because I can beat it, but there's no way to beat Leopold. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, now we're back in it. That was really one of the only cards in the deck we could pull to get back in this game. Um, these guys have mobilized, right? Okay. That was that was incredible that we peeled that blockade because that was the only way we were getting back in this game. 
That's incredible. I was just complaining about how broken that card was, and now we might actually beat it. Alright, Liberation's pretty broken too, but not as broken. How many cards do we have in our deck? 18? They have 17. Okay. Alright, you gonna attack with your big tank here, or no? Okay. Alright. Alright, new KV. That stinks. Okay, let's get our Spitfire. And let's drop the bomber as well. Might as well get rid of one of these resistances. Alright, the Hampton would have been nice to have, but... Okay. Blockade... I can't believe we, we top-decked that blockade to get rid of the Leopold. I can't believe that just happened. That's incredible. Alright, so they can go attack, attack... Well, they can't get through the 5th Brigade, so the 5th Brigade can start taking stuff out. Alright, well, now they can get through the 5th Brigade. Alright, so... Oof. How do we win from here? Can we win from here? I mean, this thing can survive their attacks by these tanks. This only takes one, because it has heavy armor. Focke-Wolf. Oof, they get to draw off that, huh? Oof. Alright, well, we can bomb this thing, get rid of it. Okay, ooh, a 5th Brigade. Great. Okay, get rid of that. Bomb this. Then let's take out the Focke-Wolf. Hopefully they didn't top anything all that great. I'm just going to hold on to these resistances, because we're really playing a top deck game here anyway. No reason to cycle off our deck. This one has been just absolutely incredible. I can't believe we top decked that blockade to take out the Leopold. I'd be I'd be pretty tilted if I was if I was the opponent, right? Because you could kind of hear it in my voice how tilted I got playing against that card, and now we we might somehow find a way through it. Wolf pack, sure. Happy to discard one of these stupid uh, things. All right, we're just gonna bomb those guys, and there's really no reason to attack the Hotchkiss. I can't believe we top decked it. Oh no! Well, we have another Spitfire in here. And they get the. the, the Fuck Wolf's a solid card. Blitzkrieg, huh? Okay. Alright, we still get to kill that thing. Alright, um, that's not helpful at all. our bomber. So it looks like we're going to lose the top deck war here. We don't have our KV because it got resistance off. Um, no bomber now. Um, oof. And you're going to give a Focke Wolf mobilize? Oh man. Our opponent has a really good deck. <laughs> okay, that keeps us in it. We got to Put the Fock Wolf back in our opponent's hand. Hold on to the um, the close air support for now. They're going to get to draw another card off their Fock Wolf. But we can crack in, take out the French plane. There's the Fock Wolf again. We might get, if we can just get, uh, I don't know how we're going to, we know oh, a Panzer too. Yuck. <sighs> okay. Well, that helps. Um, 
how are we going to do this, though? Okay, so we can pin... Alright, is there any way to do this? First, we, gotta t we have to take out that plane. Um... I guess we have to pin the... Focke Wolf. And let's give... Um, let's make these guys a 4-4, I guess. Alright, so we're going to probably lose our artillery. Shoot, I mean... We're like... Right on the brink in this one. That Leopold, though. That Leopold just shattered the game. Like, we needed a miracle draw just to stay in the game. And this Fock the the Focke Wolf's been well-timed by our opponent, too, because they've gotten a couple cards ahead of us. <laughs> oh, and an Enigma. Our opponent's deck is well-built. Um, let's see, they've got to be down to... Almost no cards in their deck, though. Three. All right, they got plenty of cards in their deck still. So that probably broke our back right there. But that Leopold, Leopold just an absolutely broken card in draft. Hmm. All right, Welsh guards. Oh, careless talk. Okay. All right, well, we had to take out the Panzer. And opponents down to, what, two cards in their deck? So, I mean, all right, Stuka's fine. Expeditionary Corps, sure. Opponents got a nicely built deck. Like, their deck has a nice game plan to it. They obviously have Leopold, so, and a precision bombing. All right, that's going to do it for this one. I mean, I think we were way behind anyway, but... But, like, like the Liberation plus um, Enigma, that's a good little combo. They have some solid tanks, good planes. All right, see what we draw. Nah, Sturm. Alright, well, I mean... Keeps us in it as much as we can go and then hit the surrender button. Great game, though. Great game, except for one broken card. And if I had it, I'd play it too, but... The, uh, Leopold should not be in... In my opinion, Leopold should not be in draft. It just shouldn't be in. But that was a great game. It was a great game. Um, we got, we somehow dealt with it. And, uh, yeah, almost got there. Almost got there still through one of the most disgusting cards I've ever seen in draft. Crusha. I mean, the closest it is to, like, a Magic the Gathering card is Upheaval. And Upheaval, like, is broken almost in vintage cube draft which is like one of the craziest formats of magic there is and upheavals broken in that one and now you're just playing it in like a limited environment like we were so far behind that they did they did tempo us a lot with our spitfire last game too though so it was a really good really good game all right we get dive bombing out of our opponent's hand that's fine all right. Oh, fifth brigade, get out there, fellas! Up against Crusha. Ah, uh, so we'll see what happens here. All right, Baluks, sure. There's our Spitfire again, and they did do a nice job continually making us pay six credits for our Spitfire. So good on good on our opponent. They played. Well, it, 
they timed if they top deck that Leopold, then great. But whew, man, that's just such a back breaking card. Supply drop, sure. Okay, so we gotta be on the lookout for like a naval support here. Okay, let's go Skua to pin him. Then next turn we can go Albacore to pin him again, and then close to air support our Skua. See what the opponent's got. Murder. Sure. Okay. Um, and a dive bomb. Huh? Okay. Blockade. Hmm. Alright. I think we're going to drop this strum. Get that going. We're going to lose the Skua. But it, it got a dive bombing out of our opponent's hand. Okay. Sure. Okay. Now we can blockade this thing and take it down. Or Albacore it. AA Barrage. Alright, a little more tempo for our opponent. We've been kind of getting tempoed out here these games, but that's okay. Let's go with a Blockade. And then let's Albacore the, the Blukes. We'll pass it for now. I mean, we can give a, we make our Albacore two three, or next turn we can go uh, medium gun. I guess it kind of depends on what our opponent does here. All right, tempest. Excuse me. Okay. Um. Here, I think we're just gonna go with. Oh man. Okay. We're going to go another 5th Brigade, then we'll close air support our Albacore, get some damage in, and that's going to do it for us this turn. Next turn we can medium gun, and then uh, get some Albacore attacks in. Love to see a critical hit now. Love to take this little Tempest thing down. Okay, going after our 5th Brigade. Alright. Lightning. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. I think we want to go... 5th Brigade, attack, and take down the Lukes. Alright, so we're going to lose this 5th Brigade. I would imagine from a couple of attacks. So, we got opponent. Alright, coming in after. Yep, taking out our 5th Brigade. Makes sense. And a dive bombing. Alright, well, we're getting all this stuff out of our opponent's hand. That's good. Now we're drawing all of our bombers, but none of our. Our big stuff that we really want. Um, all right, Spitfire. Spitfire can rumble with a lot of the stuff our opponent has. Yeah, we'll lose it, but it's going to take some stuff with it. And if our opponent just like 
takes out the albacore, then the Spitfire won't go, then won't die this turn. Playing towards our Manchester. Yeah, we need some of our, our, we're kind of drawing our deck a little weird this game. Okay, that's fine. Man, that anti-air gun would do a job on our opponent's deck, too. It's been really good games. Even though we're not winning, let's say, like, we're one and two, these have all been very good games. And one of those losses was the Leopold, which I have no problem, like, admitting I lost a game to Leopold. Ooh. There we go. Take that down. And then we pin the lightning. The reason I do that is the Spitfire protects the artillery, and then the artillery can come back and hit these uh, Blenheims. All right, Balooks, sure. And next turn we can go Manchester, take out the Lightning, and then have the same setup, really. All right, or we can just take out the Blenheims, no problem. Happy with that. Okay. Now let's go Manchester. Precision bombing the Lightning. Pass it back. Now here, again, well, I guess Leopold wouldn't be as good against the Manchester. I guess our opponent sequenced in the last game, I just keep thinking about that, our opponent sequenced that really well because they needed to wait until the Manchester was gone before they could really do anything. All right, here, I think we just thump on the Grenadier Guards. Get in for six at our opponent's HQ and drop the bomb. But our opponent also, like their deck was extremely well constructed too with the resistance stuff and the Enigma, good tanks, some good removal. Like, our, our opponent had a very good deck last game, too. Can't get on there. They did not play a single step of that game wrong. They might have got a little lucky, but that's fine. Luck is part of the game. All right, KV. We have our opponent ground down in this one. Okay, good. All right, as you probably heard in the background, dinner is ready, so we're gonna pause the video and come back and finish this one up. All right, back here to finish this one up. Hopefully we can rattle off a couple wins here. First loss was, eh, first loss we were just kind of always on the back foot. Second loss is a Leopold loss. So, oh, there we go. against Dr. Goober McDingus, PhD. Well, at least he like, at least he got his degree. Good for him. Here is Spitfire. Um, that's not, actually. It's going to depend on. Drop the critical hit. I kind of want to keep our naval support. Come on, Fifth Brigade. Oh boy. All right. Well, we traded one six drop for another. Oh boy. 
And made Dr. Goober here seems to be a little bit quicker than us. All right, well, we get to sit here and not do anything until turn four. Yikes. <clears throat> Come on, 5th Brigade. Oh, man. Maybe we should have thrown the black skua back. Alright. Okay. All this, oh, we're not falling too far behind. 5th Brigade. <laughs> Alright. We don't do anything for the first three turns of the game. Yikes. Alright. Uh, how, how do we come back? Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Oh, those guys have a uh, blitz too, don't they? Uh, Alright. Um, well, I think we just gotta go Fusiliers. Next turn, we can pin something and kill the other. Okay. Okay, those, that's fine. We don't mind that. Okay, Spitfire. Alright. Take those guys out. Let's pin these guys. Let's see if we can claw our way back into this one. Hopefully we don't get rolled by any big tanks. Spirit of Rome. Okay, this thing is massive. Thankfully we do have a way to deal with it. Um, so we'll just precision bombing it. just bomb these other guys. And hopefully that was our opponent's game plan, was uh, the big Spirit of Rome play. Just no T-34s or anything like that. I just said don't do that, Doctor. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, um, well the good part is is that we can grab a little tempo here and lightning back the T-34. Um, I'm a little afraid of other T-34, so I'm just going to take the front line. Whew, and maybe we have wrestled our way back into this one. Katie. Spirit of Rome, okay. Okay, going after our HQ, sure. Okay. Well, we gotta pick off Katie. Let's drop a KV out there. This thing we can take out next turn. We have two two of our critical hits in hand, which is great, so... Okay, that's fine. T-34, yep. Oh, okay. That stinks, but we can still get through it. Okay, so we can do the blockade trick. I think we just drop it on their skua, hit it with a skua, critical hit it. Then, oh, we're down to one credit, so we can't do anything else. All right, so if we get through this T-34, then we're feeling okay. Hopefully it just goes after the skua. Okay, that's totally fine. Nine, okay. Hmm. Okay, take out an infantry. K 
Okay. Hmm. Get another KV out there. Well, the one we could do is just naval support our first KV and take out this T-34. Pass it back. All right, so opponent could have critical hits too, or they could have something where they could KD, uh, get a big KD going. Right, I-16. Okay. Happy to get rid of the yak. All right, now this lightning can take out an I-16. Mobile defense, okay. All right, well, we can just... Like, we can just sit here and, like, just drop a... Grenadier Guards. And, uh, yeah. I mean, we don't need to do anything else, so we won't. The mobile defense, I don't like if you don't have, like, a Ural Factories to upgrade one of those T-70s with. And T-70s, right? Yeah. Okay, opponent doesn't have anything going on, question mark. Get rid of the I-16. Hit our opponent's HQ. I mean, this is just as good as guarding um, our stuff in the back here. And we're just going to drop an anti-air gun. We didn't do anything for the first three turns of this game, and we somehow pulled it all the way back around. Whew, we got lucky. Sorry, Doc. Okay, so... We just kind of got to go for it, right? Doesn't seem like our opponent did any countermeasures there. Whew. So, I don't know how... that We finally picked up our first 5th Brigade at that point in the game, so... Whew. Oh, wow. Okay. Got all kinds of stuff going on here. Alright, on to the next one. Found an enemy right away. Okay, up against Faust. Hopefully, didn't make any deals. All right. Well, we gotta get rid of all three of these. We need some fifth brigades against a Japanese player. All right. Well, we have an anti-air gun. Japanese players tend to have either really big planes or really fast decks. So, or that 28 centimeter coastal howitzer. That thing's a pain in the rear end to deal with. All right, air superiority. Okay, well, it's out of our opponent's hand, so that's good. <laughs> Fifth brigades, guys, you need to show up early. There's a Betty. And they discard a Betty. Okay. Alright, well. Lucky top deck there. Good luck, Keen. Take out the Betty. A nice two for one for us. And a tempo boost off of Betty or off of the blockades doubling the cost of a random enemy. Alright. Kinda happy to blow that up too. Even though it could hit our Skua. All right, we're gonna go for it. See if it hits our HQ. No, nope, of course not. But a one for one, and now we can lightning back something and get a little tempo boost. We don't have as many cards, but we, at least we get a tempo boost. 
Alright, expensive Akitas, okay. Alright, this gives us an opportunity to actually get these Fusiliers going. Now, we, next turn, we can lightning back. Maybe these Akitas move up, we lightning them back, and then get a few big Fusiliers in the front line. That'd be tremendous. Alright, Rising Sun, sure. Alright, Mountain Gun. And a type whatever. Hmm. Okay, in this case, I'm actually going to put the Mountain Gun back in our opponent's hand and take out the Akitas this way. Alright, so they hit our Lightning, which is fine. So, we'll see what happens this Type 94, with the surprise attack, can pin our lightning. But, then we can pin back with our medium gun? Okay. Okay, we're okay with this currently. Okay, going after our HQ. Spitfire. Alright, here we're going to pin the artillery, take out the tank. Okay, so... Let's see, we can get a Spitfire or the bomber going next turn. Kate. Alright, that's stinky. Okay, now we get a 5th Brigade. Okay, let's move this into the front line. See, I don't want to trade, I mean, I don't want to trade a Spitfire for just like a Kate Bomber. Hmm. The KV kind of shrugs that stuff off though. I think we gotta go Spitfire, though. Yeah, they're gonna hit us with the Mountain Gun, they'll hit us with the Kate, we lose the Spitfire, but... We gotta get this artillery out of here. We have another Spitfire in our deck. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have, like, an Osaka Regiment, or a Takasagi, or... Any of that silliness. Surprise attack. Okay. Okay. We could also naval support. Maybe we should have done that last turn. Naval supported the mountain gun. You may give it only one attack. A hind, huh? Okay. Hmm. Well. The good thing is that we can do that now. Those Fusiliers chewed up an attack. Oh, sounds like maybe the opponent forgot to hit the button. I do that sometimes too. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, Grenadier Guards. Okay. Well, let's go Grenadier Guards. And now we'll naval support the mountain gun. Just kind of neuter it. Alright, so our guards protect against the hind. Our Spitfire protects against Kate. <clears throat> Empire of the Sun. Another very good card. Hmm. Our opponent has all the cards. Okay. Oh. Alright, the trouble is this Kate. Alright, let's put some pressure on our opponent's Kate. Drop a Brigade. And drop a KV. 
The problem is our opponent just has a million cards. <sighs> Alright. Empire of the Sun is a very good card, too. It's an exceptional card. It's not unbeatable like um, Leopold is. Well, I mean, Leopold is just gross, but Empire of the Sun is extremely good. Like, even in an emergency, you just blow up your own car, your own fighter or something like that, and draw a whole bunch of cards. The good part is, is that we had these this brigade, there's these grenadiers going already, so we could put some pressure on our opponent. Opponent's been in the tank a lot in this game, too. I mean, I guess if you have, like, if you just drew half your deck. Alright, so they cash everything in on taking out the guards. Chira. Okay. Alright, not, not very helpful. Okay, here we're going to take it down, Kate. Get the Strum going. Okay, pass it back. Our KV just shrugs off this field gun, or this mountain gun. And it takes down this chi, chi Ro and survives. So I guess it depends on what our opponent has in their deck besides the besides the uh, Empire of the Sun. Those Akitas didn't do all that much. Hopefully no other fighters. We don't want to see any other fighters for our opponent. Alright, what is this thing again? Friendly unit plus one attack operates for one less this turn. Okay. Alright. Well, that stunk. Ooh, a blockade. Okay. Because uh, we just got to damage the zero and then we're feeling better. Alright, let's take out the mountain gun. Make our opponent's hand more expensive. Pass it back. Hopefully this zero cracks in at our 5th Brigade. Then we can cash in a critical hit. And bomb something else. <clears throat> we'll see. I'd put the zero in the front line if I was our opponent, but... Since it has an ambush. Amphibious Assault. Damn. <laughs> and Empire of the Sun really turned this game around. Ugh. They have more fighters, too. And a Betty. Okay. Yep. Opponent's got this one pretty sewn up. 5th Brigade is just too late. Needed you guys earlier. Alright, well, we're going to go 3-3 three and three with this deck. Um, the two of the three games we lost, our opponent... Well, all three games we lost, our opponent played very well. One of our losses came to one of the most broken cards in the entire format. So, what are you going to do? All right, opponent, just finish this off here. Do we have anything that could possibly get us out of this? Um, I don't think we do. Even a Grenadier Guards doesn't really do anything. <laughs> and a 5th Brigade. Just the way it was intended. Oh, well. Three and three with this one's a little disappointing, but eh, what are you gonna do? Sometimes that's the way these games go. There we go. I guess that kind of gonna go as a show too that the um, British bombers aren't maybe maybe aren't the best, but hey, we got seven gold out of it. Plus we did our uh, missions or whatever, so 
you know, that's fine. We'll open up our pack here and just wallow in our own sorrows here for a minute or two. Yeah, Leopold, I think, is just way overpowered. For limited, at least. When you can't... When you don't have a, a specific game plan, per se. It's just an absolute back-breaking card. But that's going to do it for this one. Um, stay safe out there. Keep supporting content creators that make you happy. And, uh, yeah. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Talk to you soon.